Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with some more Rise of Mordor content for you today and this is the Rise of Mordor 4.0 patch. I got early access to it to try it out along with uh, Jackie Fish and some other uh, players and we uh, we did some uh, we did some battles and as you can see here we have the new Dwarven units for the Dwarves of Erebor. We have here, we have Dane Ironfoot with his Sons of the Mountain unit which looks amazing really really does like the dwarves have had a massive massive overhaul all of them like this is probably one of the most fleshed out rosters now in the mod it's, they've got so many units now a lot of shock units as well i will just say and this unit really does look amazing all the dwarves like also look like so different now before they had like uh i don't know they had like a covered like m mass like face if almost and like helmet um, it's probably the best way to put it, but now they're like open, you can see their face, you can see the, they've got big old beards, like, they look, they look amazing, the models really, really do. But yeah, we've got uh, the Sons of the Mountain here, which are one of the new units. I'm going to quickly um, go over some of the units, but firstly, I'd like to just show you, like, the new map uh, that is also being added with this new patch. This is Dale, this is Dale, now, like, in the, th um, like, later in the Third Age, complete, uh, rebuilt by Bard and uh, everyone else that was uh, there after the Battle of the Five, uh, five Armies. And yeah, this is a really, really cool map. I do really like it. It's kind of a, I'd say it's certainly like a 2v2 map. Um, I feel like uh, you couldn't have any more than that. It's a really, uh, it's a quite a compact city, but it is a really, really cool city. It looks awesome with all the little streets and uh, stuff like that. It looks amazing. It really does. I am actually playing as this Eastling army over here. I am assaulting uh, Dale itself against uh, against Jay Monster, who was playing as, as Dale. And then uh, my ally over here, Wiz, was playing uh, as the other Eastling army. I gave him a bit of cavalry, but yeah, it's mainly Wiz going on against Jackie Fish, who is playing as the dwarves over here. As you can see, he has more dwarven units over here in the uh, in the mountains, uh, in the forest, you could say. And this is the dwarven barrack guards. I'm going to go over basically any unit that I can find that is uh, new. But yeah, these dwarven barrack guards, this is the most elite shock infantry, I believe. For the dwarves, these guys look amazing as well. I, these guys do actually have to, like the covered helm, like over there, like sort of face. Um, but yeah, these guys are like certainly one of the more elite uh, shock infantry. Got double-handed axe, uh, very very similar to like like sort of the axe that like Gimli used in like in the the movies, which looks awesome. Yeah, that look, you know, looks really really cool. Then we have over here the yeah another really really elite shock infantry. I mean, they all are to be honest. They're all like very heavy. But we've got the arid Mithrin veterans here. Which again have like that covered helm going on. They look seriously do look amazing, and uh, I mean look at the helm as well. I'll just like qu quickly like you can see there's like a like a dragon. I think that's supposed to be on like the top there. Looks awesome. Like the detail put into these models, it's amazing. Really is. Oh, the officer looks awesome as well. Like look at his helmet and like shield and stuff like that. Looks awesome. The armor as well. Like these guys have got like thick armor. They're not gonna get. Uh, killed easily. Uh, over here we then got the another shock infantry unit. Yep, yeah, I did say there was a lot of shock infantry. Um, they have the uh, dwarves. Uh, well, these are the warriors of the Red Mountains. So uh, there is like a mod for them, which like basically makes dwarves of the Red Mountains, but they're just like all the Grim Hammers, but just with red armor. But these are like proper Red Mountain dwarves, and they look awesome. Again, have a, like a very different helmet. I love all like the different styles of like armor that are going on. To the dwarves, but yeah, like the helmet as well, looking very different, like more of a pointed thing. Kind of going with that covered helm again. We've got like a hammer this time instead of an axe, so like they're kind of like I guess the kind of the replacements for the Grim Hammers, probably not in price, but like in their like style of weapon, you could say. And like, yeah, they got like the, the red sword look to them, they look really, really nice. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got the Mansion Reclaimers. Now, this unit, this is a sword unit, it's the most or axe unit, you could say, um, it is the most elite. Uh, sword unit available to the, uh, to the dwarves now, as you can see, uh, that like helmet, man. This is probably my favorite looking unit, I'd say for the dwarves in like this uh, in their white uh, armor with gold. Looks really like such a good look. Looks amazing. I mean, look at like the helmet as well. I mean, like even the detail on like the shields that they put into it looks amazing. Really, really do. Every little bit just looks oh top notch. But yeah, this unit has got so much armor and so much health. Uh, it's like got a hundred and hundred plus in each. So, like, you've got to charge that with cavalry if you want to kill that unit. Um, you're not going to kill it in combat. And uh, then we've got the two Mordens here. So, we have a pole arm unit uh, for the dwarves. As you can see, all in gold, looking amazing. A gold and blue, looking really, really good. Something that I've been begging the dwarves to get for ages was a pole arm unit. Because they need that, really. Because they have no cav, but they need to be able to counter cav. So, like, pole arms is a good way. And also, like, the dwarves are often used in a siege. And what do you need most in a siege? You need, like, a pole arm or a pike unit. But yes, yeah, so now that they've got this unit, that is really, really useful. Um, so, 
Yeah, they, is that one? There is actually a lower tier uh, like polearm. I don't know where the Jackie brought it, um, but there is actually a lower uh, tier like polearm. So like even if you couldn't afford the two wardens, there is a lower price one that would uh, work out. But I think this is all just Erebor spear guys. But even like the dwarves here, like the basic Erebor infantry, has had a rework in armor and in uh, and in look really. And yeah, they've got like the big bushy beards going on as well. Again, I don't remember these guys them having beards before, but I could be wrong. Um, but the armor as well has all like had a redo. It looks really good. I really, really like the look. And just look at the spear guards quickly. They're basically the same. But they look awesome as well. I mean, look at them. They look a little bit more stocky. I don't know why as well. Like, the dwarves just look a little bit more... A little bit more uh, chunky. Which I'm, I'm I'm all for. Because dwarves are, like, short and quite, like, stocky. Oh, and then also we got the range units. I forgot... I entirely forgot. So raving on about, um, like, the shock infantry. They have now got bows. So we've got dwarven range travelers here. This is the lower tier bow unit. They have actually got a, a more elite one. Um, but yeah, this is just like some some low tiered bowmen, which is really good that the dwarves now have this. Um, like I feel like they would have bows. Um, you see them in like the Hobbit; they use bows a bit. And uh, but they, yeah, I mean crossbows are well and good, but they're not that, like as versatile, you could say, as like a, as a bowman. So yeah, they got some of them. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it really. That is that is really it for uh, yeah. He's just got escort mercenaries, triple cold chevron, jeez. Jackie really wanted to keep those alive. But yeah, that's kind of like all of the units that um, are uh, like new that are in this battle. I will quickly maybe at the end of this video, so definitely stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to uh, show off the uh, like the roster so you can see like all the roster and like how big it is and stuff like that. And if you'd like me to do another video like showing off all of the Dwarven units, all of the new ones, then uh, let me know and I can, uh, I can do that for sure. But at this moment, uh, I am now landing on the, uh, on the wall with my uh, Loki Remacement. Uh, against Vinland Guard, and that is not a good matchup, really. Uh, that is not going to end well. And then I'm uh, I'm uh, opening up a breach here um, with my artillery, which is actually getting focused down by enemy artillery. The enemy artillery as well has got such a nice spot up here. So frustrating seeing this. Uh, his Olinger is up here, and his Bardings are up here. I didn't even realize his Bardings were up here, but yeah, he's got some really good hits. Um, and then, yeah, you've got a the fort wall not about to go down. I've got troops ready to go in through the breach. And as you can see, uh, Dale is also set up. He's got some Dalian swords. He's got some Lake Town Guards, which are now pole arms, uh, which you know, I'm kind of surprised by. Like, they now have pole arm. Uh, these guys have pole arms. So they no longer have a shock unit. So that's another thing that Dale is kind of like lacking in now, which is a shame because I really like Dale and I really like the Lake Town Guard as, like, a, as a shock infantry. Um, maybe they'll get something replacing their shock infantry. I don't know. Um, kind of now makes my unit overview for Dale a bit null and void because uh, that's technically changed. Um... But yeah, there you go. Um, that, that's like the only other new thing that I, I, I realized, obviously, with like the, the, you got the map, you got all the new Dwarven units, and then Dale's got like a new random, well, like a change in its roster. Uh, we've got Dalian Swords uh, battling on with the uh, Loki room up here. I am uh, having a really rough time on this wall, to be honest. Um, pathfinding was a little bit of an issue. Um, I heard that like Wiz was saying that this map was uh, like quickly put out. So I was having finding a few issues, um, especially like one being like my units wouldn't go through the breach and um, that I just opened up, which is really annoying until I realized. So I like started to put unit one, my unit back on the tower because I was like, right, I'm going to land another tower uh, on this wall here and flank these uh, Vinland Guard to try and just like take this small section. Then I can get off. Um, but yeah, I'm actually already taking a beating from stuff. Like I didn't even know what this like this Varric Bowman over here was already at half health. And I was like, what is it being hit by? Um, but I guess it's getting hit by these marksmen of Dale. Archers in this, by the way, use their ammo so much quicker. Um, it is really like it's really fast paced to reload now, and um, I feel like that's more, they're more deadly in a sense. If they need to be more deadly, they are now for sure. These Loki room are getting yeah, like look at the like the volleys coming in. They're getting hit like they're getting them off a lot quicker. Like that's three volleys since we've been sat here. A fourth one coming in though. I think that might be a I don't know that might be a second arch unit, but. Yeah, these guys are getting battered by arrows. Actually, no, I think that is all the bardings. Jeez, they're like, yeah, these guys are getting focused down. Um, I hope they like to counteract that maybe to give everyone a little bit more armor. I'm not really sure because I feel like otherwise you're going to see just units get erased from the battlefield. Um, but yeah, I'm get, getting like slightly beaten up here. Um, on the other side, you can see Wiz and Jackie are starting to set up uh, outside Erebor here. And uh, that apparently Erebor is going to change, um, like if you haven't already, get, definitely go and check out the uh, Rise of Mordor stream that was done yesterday um, for for this match and another one that I will also be showing off. And uh, yeah, they uh, 
they like answered like a lot of questions one of them being like there will be a proper like arable model here and like i said this was just like this map was kind of like put together quite quickly so like they've got like a few things left to iron out um but yeah it's looking really good so far to be honest and as you can see you've got lots of lots of uh east things moving up here this is supposed to be like a battle of dale sort of scenario that uh like took place in the third age at the same time as uh, the siege of minas tirith you see lots of easterlings and stuff moving up but yeah at this point um, I realized um, that how to like get my unit inside the wall, like through the breach. Basically, I was giving the unit an attack order to uh, uh, like to attack this unit, and it wasn't going through. So I had to basically nurse it through, like just give it like movement orders, like tell it to move and just stand right in front of its Dalian unit. And uh, so I didn't really get a good charge off, unfortunately. Um, but then. <laughs> You know, that, then that's just going to sort out all other issues uh, later because now, like, just being a tiller and stuff like that, uh, my all my troops want to, like, now go through the breach to attack any unit instead of going onto the towers. So, like, the men on the towers are kind of, like, they're stuck the there fighting, the men, like, everything from the tower. So, yeah, this was an issue for, like, most of the game. Like, for me, pathfinding just kind of defeated me and just got me uh, very, very annoyed. But my Eastlings here, they're actually trapping some archers on the wall, which is really nice. It's marksman of Dalish. This guy here just fired a bow at like point blank range. What's he doing? Audacity to do that. Yeah, he gets stabbed in the chest. But yeah, so uh, my units are all starting to break on the wall. Loki were amazement. Um, Wiz was like, oh, they should be okay because they've got really good armor piercing. But uh, it didn't really matter because they were getting focused down. Though I am beating the Lake Town Guards here in combat, even though I'm not even like fighting them. Uh, as you can see here, they're getting flanked by Warlords of Rune. So they're getting, yeah, chopped down. Just keep chopping them down, boys. Yeah, these guys are now a pole arm. I don't know what I feel about that. Um, I feel like they're a pretty poor uh, uh, like pole arm. I guess that maybe Dale's lost its uh, Vinland Watchman. Maybe as a pole arm. I'm not really sure. Because they're thinking that's more of a Darwinian sort of unit. I'm not really sure. Um, but we'd have to... I'll have to ch uh, check them out at some point. But as you can see, Lake Town Guard just getting... I'm focusing this unit down. I was like, I'm not dealing with a second one in this choke, in this choke point. So I'm going to give my archers something easy to shoot. Easy to whittle down, and it's starting to do that. This artillery over here as well, it's like taking up my artillery, and I'm pretty sure it's taking out, out them all. Yeah, it did take them all out. I did, I did ask Jay Monson, who's like, I actually don't know. Um, but it did. And so, yeah, because my arty crew's already in combat, and I was like, well, I'm pretty sure mine's not fired as much. But it, it certainly has. But anyway, let's have a look on the other side. The dwarves are starting to engage now with uh, the Eastlings. So as you can see, we'll watch these dwarven units in combat. Because that's what we're really here for. We don't really care about what's going on my side. Rift the dwarves. The Here you go, shield wall, shield wall, and that's a, one of the most epic charges you'll ever see. Um, but yeah, over here, over here we can see the Barrack Guard, we can see the uh, Arid Mithrin, uh, Arid Mithrin veterans. I've got a load of new names to learn now. Uh, all in combat here. These guys are going to get a lot of kills, I'm sure. There is also shock which coming in. You can see Varag warriors coming in the back here, trying to do their bit. We've also got barrier glances of all up here. They're actually attacking the Dwarven Travelers as archers. But yeah, let's watch this shock infantry in combat. This could be really, really fun to watch. Shame is under the trees. It's a little bit dark. Oh, barrier guard getting chopped down. Over here you can see that the... Uh, these things have a lot of cavalry set up, ready to face down this, uh, this uh, escort mercenary. We've also got uh, the mansion reclaimers now moving up to support the cav. It uh, looks like the pole arms are being sent elsewhere. I would have thought that'd been quite a good uh, asset to have against the cav. But Jackie is starting to put it into the center. Looks like he's going to try and uh, like change the outcome of the battle here. And you can see that Wiz is going to counter it by putting his halberds in. You can see the two wardens going in now. This unit looks amazing. Really, really does. Like, the dwarves are going to have such a colorful looking army now. They've got gold, they've got silver, they're going to have like units all with red. See the red mountain dwarves in here already. Looking awesome. Really, really do. Where's Dane? Dane's already in combat. Look at that. Sons of the Mountain already in. Where is Dane? Come and get an eye. So we see him. I'm so happy that he's like a unique model. Looks awesome. He really, really does. Where do he be? I don't know. Might not be able to find him yet. It looks seriously awesome. I'm going to have to do some, like, we're going to have to do some Battle of Five Army sort of scenarios now again with, like, a, a redone error ball. 
or maybe there he is there he is I was gonna say he's a pretty unique model we should be able to find him he's down here he's being a bit worried but yeah I got my carry now in behind and I actually did a rear charge onto the uh, dwarves into Jackie's dwarves and uh, did a pretty good damage actually to that that's uh, Erebor Spear Guards is not getting up from that um, I don't know how badly damaged it was before but it is now losing in combat I actually should have pulled out that out of combat now um, at this point, over on the far side, I am basically out. I am th throwing everything through this choke point. I'm, like, just pathfinding and everything has doomed me, really. It's really been awful. I also kind of, like, just started prioritizing just, like, this this one cavalry unit. It's like, right, if I'm going to get kills, it's going to be with this cavalry unit. And very, very nice. Another nice charge there. Really influencing the fight. But yeah, I basically snuck this unit all the way around through these traps here and got it through this tiny little gap here in the line, you can see, and like snuck it through there. And uh, since all of Jackie's cavalry is now engaged elsewhere, I've just got free reign with my cav. Though uh, he's now going to try and pin it down with these spear guards, and I did not realize this. So uh, this is really nicely done. So yeah, well done to Jackie. He's just like going to take on my cav. I'm going to try and get it out, I think. Try and get out for one more charge. I'm going to lose a lot of cab from doing this though. Yeah, lots of cab dying here. Just getting speared. That's a shame. But you can see that I'm starting to influence this fight. I'm going in for another charge on uh, Dane. One final charge. Get this man off the battlefield. Where is he? There he is. He's in, he's in combat now. Can he get a kill? Oh. He's been knocked back. I think he might have got a kill as we like arrived. I might get a kill here. Just kill one of these poor Varigir Lancers. What are you doing, son? He's backing off. He's like, I, they can't handle me. I've got to take a, I've got to take a break. Let me get a fair fight. Yeah, they, these guys are doing well. Sons of the Mountain winning. But yeah, over here it seems like uh, like the dwarves are certainly having a rough time. Over here, I am just about to throw my reserves. You can see my Halberd is now going in. These guys are just getting focused down. Uh, my archers, I've got cav left, my general, and that's about it. Finally, like, the artillery and archers are starting to run out of ammo, but not enough. Not enough. Um, general's actually losing down here, though, for for Dale. So, I mean, that's always handy. But uh, over here, as you can see, the dwarves are starting to lose. These arid, uh, arid Mithrin veterans are starting to lose, and the dwarven barrack guard. They're all starting to get, like, pinned down and just speared to death by uh, pole arms. Can't do much about this. And they got some aerial spear guards in here. They're trying to face him down. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What a charge. I didn't even see that coming. Baden Steps coming in. Charging them down. Uh, and the Dwarven Shock Infantry. They're going to probably... Uh, they'll enjoy this a little bit. But they also at the same time. They're probably uh, very tired. Very exhausted. They're also low. And morale. I feel like these units are just... Well, I was about to say they will fight to the last man. They almost did. The Dwarven Barrack Guard to two men. And then broke. Arid Mithrin Veterans. They're shaken. Uh, losing decisively, but they ain't breaking anytime soon by the looks of it. They're uh, encouraged. As you can see, uh, where's Dane? Dane's actually in combat here. He's losing as well. I think he's getting shot in the back, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe he's just losing. Mansion Reclaimers in here as well. They're actually getting a nice little uh, like rear attack on these pole arms. Another, like, fancy, like, this is awesome. I just love that the dwarves got, like, so many units now. It looks really, really good. And I can hear more cavalry charges coming off. I think they try to kill Dane with cavalry. Trying to rear charge him. He's in there somewhere. And there you go. He's actually chopped down. I don't know where, where is Dane's body. We've got to find Dane. Dies in this battle in history, like in the lore anyway, along with the uh, the king of uh, the king of Dale, which I can't remember his name off the top of my head. He's not called Bard, I'm pretty sure of that. But he's dead in there somewhere, it's a shame. And that's probably going to be curtains for the Dwarven army. I mean, they'll fight on because Dwarves have just got amazing morale, but it's looking, they're, they're looking pretty beaten up. These two Wardens over here, they're holding on, but they're just going to get rear charged by stuff. Looking very bloodied up. I don't know whether that's their blood or the enemies that's, they're covered in. Probably a bit of both. But how many of them are there are left? There's only like 20 of them left. General there breaking. At one man. 
that shows like even though if you're gonna like kill generals you're gonna have to like kill many of these elite dwarven units to the last man basically Arab or axe warriors won't be the case uh, they might sort of die after army losses i'm not really sure but yeah the two ones here are losing in combat looks like uh what's over here yeah, the mansion reclaimers the only way they're killing them right now i think is with cavalry charges I mean, they might eventually kill him with pole arms, I guess. That's like a fight that I guess the Mansion Claims can never really win. Like, pole arms would be a good way. But yeah, these guys are like shielded as well. You're not going to kill them with archers unless you're shooting them back. But even still, like, you've got a lot of armor to break through. They're in there. <laughs> I like zooming in. Like, you can barely see them in there. They're just surrounded by a massive uh, infantry. But as you can see, I'm basically out at this point. I'm just throwing in like my last few men that are like rallying. Um, my pole arms here. Getting just sent in, they're just gonna get condemned and killed here. Just look at that. Look at this. Brutal execution. Um, and yeah, my pole arm, my uh, stuff break there. But I am basically out now, and like that is the first uh, the first battle really over. The dwarves are all dead, really. Um, so yeah, both uh, me and Jackie died like first, and now it's just down to J Monster and to Wiz to decide who is gonna win. I mean, I don't know who I'd be in favor of. I mean, like. The dwarves, um, and dwarves, uh, Dale has a fair amount of archers left, but not a lot of infantry. And, um, the Eastlings, I mean, they're just kind of ge generally quite bad up. Like, they've got archers here with, like, a lot of ammo in, but, like, their infantry is so beaten up. Their general is, like, half strength already. Uh, they've got more archers here with ammo. Is that more over there? Oh, no, the Barding's, but no ammo. But, yeah, I mean, it's, and they've, we've got a lot of cav, so I think the idea was that they were going to come out and they were going to face us in front of this gate. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to make a quick cut here. Uh, while we wait for the uh, like the next stage of the battle to take place. So we are back and the Eastlings are pushing forward. They're going towards Dale now. And they are going to uh, basically just fight in front of this gate here. As you can see, the battle is taking place. We've got Varag Warriors now going in. They're getting focused down though, these guys, by the uh, marksmen of Dale on the walls here. These guys have got a nice little, little angle as these Varag Warriors go in. They're just fighting like cap no archers and cattle crew, I think. So, I mean, not really like a great... A great thing to be charging, but look at that fire coming in. These guys are getting, like, murdered. These uh, marksmen of Dale, yeah, just like of a deadly, deadly angle. Look at that. Like, that's what they're firing down on. Just down there. I think they're running out of ammo now, but, like, it's still brutal. Like, their shock infantry was, like, fairly healthy. Not, like, that healthy, but... It's 50, 60 men. Pretty, pretty useful at this point in the battle. You can see that uh, these things and Dale are now just fighting down here. I mean, I feel like Dale's got the advantage with the archer support. A nice archer angle. And he's got, like, Bardings, which is really good in combat as well. He's got a lot of them as well. Here they are, more of these guys. Looking awesome as always. We've got my cavalry coming across. My general. Nothing left to, like, worry about. So he's going to just go flying in into these Bardings. There you go. That's a good... Good thing to charge. These bardings are just very, very nasty. Reduce them by a fair amount, about 30 men. Not a lot, not like as much as I'd like. See, the other cavalry's got through here. It's now going to rear charge Dale's general. He seems to be somehow doing okay against pole arms, or he was at this point until, uh, yeah, see, the pole arms are losing somehow. I've been the guard now losing, but uh, due to that. But you might, I got my general out. He's lost a lot of men to archers, and I think I was, um, because I like trying to. It was awkward to pull out, uh, not pull out, but like maneuver through this gap. Got trapped by a load of bardings. Now I'm trying to kill this Vinland Guard general. But I'm losing so many, so many cavalry. Ridiculous. Archers are just so goddamn nasty in this game now. You don't want to get in the way of them. My men are, men are wavering yet. My general's about to go. And uh, yeah, you can see the first wave of these things has been like destroyed. We still got more archers though, and more pole arms, and more swords. So, uh, I mean, also the good thing is that they've run out of ammo. They've used all their ammo on the first wave. So there's always that. Their general is also nearly dead. He's at 14 men. He's got a break at some point. So there's still hope. There's still hope. I mean, it was 600 versus 700. It's so close in this game. It's a really, really fun game. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to fast forward while uh, all the uh, Eastern units just move up. Basically, they're just throwing in uh, Loki Remarches. What have we got here? Loki Remarches. I think some of these are, like, Varig Warriors. I know. There you go, my gen just finally died. Uh, I thought he brought Varig Warriors, but apparently not. Um, because if he had some of those, they would be very useful for combat. But he just brought Easterlings or Loki Rim, which is fine. Uh, we will just uh, we'll just pepper him to death. We've still got a fair amount of ammo, actually, on these guys. So if they can get some good volleys off 
on a well i say here hopefully but they're getting focused down as you can see here by the marksman dale on top of this top of this uh, wall they are firing now just trying to hit bardings i think trying to weaken them i would have just shot the general um i know it's a bit scummy at this point general sniping but he's right there and uh, to be honest it's the only way we're gonna have a chance of winning i think if that general dies the bardings are just so goddamn healthy also they have the towers to support them they're sitting around until they're still looking a little bit uh still looking a little bit dark they have sorted the bright brightness out it is actually a, a, little, a lot more brighter but um Obviously, YouTube like just uh, brings down the quality of what you can see, and also uh, it's still dark from one side with the tiller. That's just something that's ingrained in the tiller. I feel forever and ever. There you go. I mean, this Loki room unit should do okay. I mean, it's a healthy unit. And there you go. Allies just lost their gen. I think he just got thrown in there. And uh, he died. At this point, we were just like, he actually has stuck all the way through here, though, and he's managed to get into the backs of all these uh, marksmen at Dale. Probably get an okay charge, but nothing like amazing. The pole arms were all relying on, we just want to bring them up. Broke their general, though, as well, which is most important. Dale's like, I'd say, doesn't deal with it as well when the general's dead. Uh, Lokirum is certainly more elite than most of these daily units. There go the pole arms. I'm just going to fast forward a bit because, uh, well, it's just a, just a bit of a grindy battle here now at this, uh, at this choke point. You can see the Vinland Guards still in here, though. They'll do okay. If they keep popping like Encourage and things like that, they'll just do fine. Did, did the Cavs survive? No. I didn't think it would have. Um, Archers here, they probably want to start focusing stuff down. I mean, look at that. We actually are breaking a lot of stuff here. This is uh, Vinland Guards breaking. Um, it looks like these bardings and marks on Marksman and Dale and Vinland Guards are going to break as well. Then they'll just be down to uh, infant, just be, be down to archers. Well, technically they are infantry, I guess, but yeah, they'll be down to archers. Marksman and Dale though are still pretty damn nasty in combat. Um, and now spears also another thing I should mention. Um, spears in this game are now got like a purpose again. They're a lot more uh, deadly. Um, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, spears. I've been told by Wiz much more of a like a force to be reckoned with. Marksman and Dale come in. They're going to just stop the Loki Rim from forming up properly. We have Archers in here. Bardings, I think, would probably be able to... Or maybe not overwhelm Loki Rim Maceman, but they could probably overwhelm uh, like Loki Rim Archers. They are doing just that, actually. That's Marksman and Dale, actually, overwhelming that. Okay. That's interesting. Kind of surprised by that. Marksman and Dale being able to beat Loki Rim Archers. Shame, if he brought Varig Warriors, it would have been very useful for this stage of the battle, like just fighting in combat now. Because they have a shield. Shame I didn't save mine. These uh, Bardings yeah, probably won't win this fight. And they're, we're losing over there to Loki and Archer, so that's a concern. And uh, as you can see here, we're actually pulling back Archers. We're gonna, I was like, just use what you have left of your ammo. You need to get that ammo used up. Try and do some damage. Don't know what the pole arm's doing quite here. Um, not sure what formation you call this. It's an interesting one, but they are somehow still winning in combat, so can't complain. They're actually now doing a lot of damage to these bardings here. I think that's what they're trying to do, beat these bardings. The sending him back in his arches. It's a shame. I was hoping he was going to be up. I was like, if you just hold them here on the uh, on the bridge, this unit here of uh, Marksman Dale is probably likely to flank. And you can shoot it in the back, but you can see the Loki room however, is just not happy anyway. They're getting re like attacked in the rear. As you can see here by uh, all sorts of archers, and that's uh, breaking them. And I think also army losses is coming into uh, like into effect now. And as you can see, these units are just going to chain route. And that is going to be the battle. And Dale, and uh, well, really just Dale in the end, has defended Dale and uh, and Erebor. So there you go. At end, we'll end the replay and have a quick look at the end results. Um, so yeah, so that was a really really fun one. Uh, just like to thank the Rom like team for having me. It was a really really awesome like siege battle that we did. Um, yeah, like. I was playing as the uh, the Eastern Army that solid. My like some of my infantry did okay. 173 kills is really good. My shock did awful. Like for the price of these guys, 120 kills. I mean, I just got um, kind of done over by the uh, by the pathfinding. I feel a little bit, but um, I'll yeah, that's like my only excuse really. Um, but yeah, my archers they got 100 kills, not bad. My cav got 84. Um, I mean, that's 84 dwarven kills. So I guess that's kind of good. But yeah, these units are just nasty now to kill. 
Um, but Wiz certainly did very, very well with his East of the Army, killing a lot of dwarves and quite a bit of Dale as well. Um, 189 kills with his Bane of the Steps, 186 kills with his Maceman, um, his Varag Warrior is getting 112, his Pole Arms 154, his um, like Archers here 137, and his Cav 248 kills, really, really nice there. Um, and then we've got Jay Monsters playing his Dale, um, did really well against me, his artillery, I thought I got more kills than this, but um, it was just raining death down on me, um, getting 55 kills, his Bardings did really well, getting lots of kills on me, 250 kills, his Marksman and Dale, look how many Archers he brought, so many, um, 218, 213, some really good kills there, his Dalian Swords, 133, um, his Vinland Guards, 131, it's 177, some really good kills there, and Jackie, he was playing his Erebor, um, I mean, look at the unit cards. They're awesome. The unit cards really do. Um, Sons of the Mountain, 132 kills. Um, then you've got Erebor Axe Warriors, 175. Uh, his Area of Mithrin, like Veterans, 130. I don't know if these are good kills, to be honest. I only have this to compare them off. But I'm presuming that these units could probably get two, 300 kills easily. Um, his Barrett Guard, certainly, I feel like could have done better at 80 kills. But yeah, some good kills there for him. Um, but yeah, in the end, he slowly did get overwhelmed. But there you go. I am now going to go over to uh, showing off like the Ross for Dwarves quickly. Um, just show you like what they have. And um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys in a moment. So we are back. And as you can see, the uh, we are here with the Dwarven roster. And you have an all, like, this is a pretty big roster now, as you can see here. It's like one of the most complete ones um, for, like, for any faction now. And as you can see, we've got the Iron Guards as the general. That used to be that was the only unit you could have along with the Grim Hammers. Those are... The, the, those days are past us now. We now have the Arid Mithrin veterans as a uh, as a unit you can bring as a general dwarven barrack guard. You can have the Sons of the Mountain. Uh, you can have Mansion Reclaimers. You can have Tomb Wardens. All of these units as generals are really really awesome to have these units. There's like so much variety now for a general. Um, like depends on like, how much you want to spend on it. Basically, it looks like it's a good idea if you want a pole arm. Do you want a a sword unit? Lots and lots of choices. Um, and then you've got like melee infantry now. We've got so much melee infantry as options. Obviously, the mansion reclaimers and the dwar uh, Erebor Axe Warriors we've seen in combat. But there are lower tiers of as well. We've got Dwarven Warriors and you've got Dwarven Company. So if you like playing like the Dwarves and you're defending a siege and you want like lower tier stuff, um, you have these guys. And they're also pretty good. Like, I mean, like these guys like heavy melee infantry Dwarven Warriors. So they'll hold the line quite nicely. And then you've got like Dwarven Miners. You've got Erebor Axe Warriors. Uh, Erebor Axes, you've got Matic Warriors, they're the only three shock, I don't think we did see, um, we saw basically every other shock unit, um, like the Sons of the Mountains you can only bring as a general, you can't bring it as shock infantry, so if you want to bring Dane, you have to bring as your general, and then like, you can't bring anything else as a gen basically. Um, spears all the same, and then you've got the Pole Arms on here, you've got Erebor Halberdiers, you've got the Tomb Wardens, um, did mention that the, there was a lower tier Halberdiers, so if you are playing like say a lower cost like battle, um, you can still bring like Halberdiers. To defend. Uh, we've got Archers of the Red Mountain as well, it's more heavily armoured archers for the dwarves. We've got the skirmishers, we've got uh, axe throwers here, which is awesome. I love that there's an axe thrower unit now for the dwarves as well. That just reminds me of like Battle of Middle Earth and stuff like that, where they have axe throwers, and you've got crossbow infantry, and then the melee cap and the art still the same. But there you go. If you'd like me to show off some all of the units like on the battlefield, like on the battlefield and like a custom battle at some point, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see the other units that are like weren't showed off in this uh in this battle but i hope you did enjoy this battle it was certainly a very very fun one uh, do remember to leave a like subscribe if you're around here and a comment to show you support as always guys keep up that support and feel like rise mode and i'll keep putting out new videos i just can't thank you enough for all the support um allow me to like get early access as well like your supports allow me to get early access and uh yeah so just keep it up basically and uh, i'll see you in the next one